Hey everyone, Cody here. And uh, just want to let you know that I'll be taking a break from YouTube for a while. Um, I just finished filming the Pollock style painting and the fractal painting in one. And, um, you know, it's been on my heart for a while to kind of take a break. And like, I'm super grateful for, for all the support and, and the growth of the channel over the last year and stuff. Uh, but it's just very stressful trying to, um, you know, work, have a job, and then you know, I have lots of kids, so coming home and, you know, having to help my wife with the kids and then trying to paint, you know, late at night when uh, everybody's asleep and I'm tired and I have to go to work tomorrow. And then also trying to edit those videos and then trying to do all of that multiple times a week. Uh, so it's just, it's very time consuming and um, it's not that I don't enjoy it, but if you haven't noticed the last few videos, um, I've probably been talking less um, and I just seem less enthusiastic. It's just because I wanted to to make the videos up until I wrought, like reached 3000. Uh, and then I knew that at that point I was going to go on ahead and then and take a break. Now that doesn't necessarily mean I won't upload any videos at all. Um, and I don't know how long I'll be away for a while, but I just need to kind of take that break and kind of refresh and um, yeah, I will still be like replying to comments and stuff like that and, and uh, you know, reaching out to you guys and, and stuff like that because I, I really enjoy talking with you guys. Um, so you can still reach out to me on YouTube videos, um, you know, Instagram comments, or uh, you can email me, you can hit me up on Facebook. All my links should be in the description area or on the about page of this YouTube channel. Um, also, painting is a very expensive hobby if you haven't gathered. Um, I have a lot of paint, um, especially gloss enamel. Each each one of the small cans is like $16 a can, and then the large ones are like $45 or something like that, $50. Um, and I probably have uh, four, at least 40 cans of paint. Um, so I'm not going to do that math, but, you know, it's about five dollars $600 just in paint, um, which I can reuse them over and over again, but... Um, there's certain colors that I continue to use over and over again, like black and white. So I have to continuously buy them. Um, and I do sell paintings from time to time, but I don't, I, I make a lot more than I sell. And I think that that's a kind of a curse with a lot of artists is that it, you can make the art. It just doesn't sell as fast as you make it. Right. I, I'm pretty sure that that's very common among artists. Um, so that's not including, you know, having to buy all of the canvas or the paper or whatever, um, and if every painting that I made was a good painting or every painting that I made sold, it wouldn't be an issue monetarily. Um, but when you have, I have at least a hundred paintings, at least just in my garage that could be sold. Um, so I have tons of art here, right? But it's not selling. So I have to keep investing my own money into that. And when I have, again, a wife and kids, and, and responsibilities and stuff. Um, it's hard for me to continuously sink that money into uh, those painting supplies to continue to make videos. Um, so again, monetarily, it's just kind of sapping me. And, you know, I don't say any of this to complain. And I don't say any of this to uh, seem like, you know, I'm just making a big deal about it. I, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to do any of that. Or, or make anyone feel bad, or even myself. Um, it's just a hard fact, right? So painting is an expensive hobby, and it, for me, it is just a hobby. I don't do this full time. I have a regular job, and I do this on the side, and and I enjoy it. But when I'm trying to, when I have to keep sinking my own money into it, and it's not really selling as much, then you know that that kind of drains me. Um, it also kind of limits what I can do or what I want to do. Um, so there's a lot of factors in that. Also, I've just been kind of pushing myself to, to continuously make videos um, just so that I can keep putting them out to keep people interested. But the views are not very high on the videos lately. Um, so it's like they spiked and then they have dropped off. And it's not that I don't get any views but they're not a lot. And I don't make a lot of money on the ads from the YouTube videos. So they do have ads and I do make like maybe a hundred dollars or something a month off of that, which I'm not complaining, but that's not really that much to sustain making 
paintings over and over and over again. So again, just a lot of factors. Um, so I will, I'm going to take a step back for a while. I don't know how long I'll be gone. And I don't, um, you know, I don't know when I come back, what type of videos I'm going to do, because I've been trying to branch out and, and do more stuff for, for you guys. I even did that poll a couple weeks ago. And, um, you know, I've been asking people just in the comments and stuff like what they want to see. And, it, and it's so divided, right? Um, everybody has this idea in their head of, of the types of paintings I should do. Like I should do more abstract landscapes or I should do uh, these 3D type paintings with like texture and masking tape and, and shadows and all these other things. And I've been trying to branch out. But to be honest with you guys, after kind of trying these, um, two things have come out of it. One, I really don't enjoy doing a lot of that other stuff. So I, I, I didn't mind trying it just really for you guys. Um, but I don't enjoy it. I don't, I don't like doing masking tape paintings. I don't like doing abstract landscapes. It's not that they're not cool and it's not that they're not interesting to do maybe every now and then, but I honestly find no joy in it to, as, as something that I would do all the time. So while I totally appreciate the feedback I've gotten from everyone, I just can't continue to make paintings I don't enjoy. Um, that also being said, I may actually also stop doing Pollock style paintings uh, from this point forward, which is, I, I know that a lot of people come to my channel because of either A, the scrape paintings, the Gerard Richter type paintings, which is fine, and B, uh, I think I said A the first time, anyway, B, the Pollock style paintings, right? So that, those two types of paintings is what brings most people to my channel. And I understand that, um, but again, with the Pollock style paintings, I just don't find any joy in them anymore. Yeah, they turn out cool sometimes, and, and I do like some of the results that they that they yield, but it's just not me. You know, it's not my style. And um, to continue to do someone else's style that I just don't enjoy uh, would be a lie. So I probably won't be doing any more Paul Excel paintings, which I've been doing them like every 500 or 250 subscribers, but again, I just don't find any joy in it. The one I just did just now, I only did for you guys. I didn't do it because I wanted to. So again, not complaining, just, just being honest with you guys. Um, so when I come back, again, don't know how long that's going to be. Um, I don't know what type of paintings uh, I'll come back and do. I might still do scrape paintings because sometimes um, I like doing them. It, it's kind of hit or miss. Like sometimes they just really frustrate me. But my biggest thing is is these fractal paintings, and I and I know some people like them, some people don't, and you're welcome to to unsubscribe if if you don't want to see any more of those. I I would understand. I'm not wouldn't be angry at anyone. I wouldn't feel bad. I would understand um, if some of the stuff that I won't be doing in the future is the stuff that you want to see. I I get it, but it doesn't bring me joy, and just to kind of go through the motions would be. It's not fair to you guys because I don't make good videos when I do paintings I don't want to do. Um, and usually the result is not as good either. And a lot of people say, well, you should break your comfort zone and you should, you know, try different things. And it's like, okay, well, I did try them and I don't really like them. So, you know, just again, being honest. Um, so I, I may do scrape paintings when I come back. I may do, I will definitely do more fractal paintings because that's kind of my style that I've developed over time. And that is the one that resonates with a lot of people kind of online when I go to sell it. So maybe not so much the YouTube community, but I think it's because with the YouTube community, everybody kind of has this idea of what abstract art should look like. And that's fine, but my niche is kind of gloss enamel, you know, so gloss enamel is very limited on the types of paintings you can make. But again, this style, the, the fractal or the dabbed paintings, is just something that <clears throat> I've developed over time that I have to use gloss and enamel for and I enjoy making those paintings. It's it's mine, you know, it's something that I developed and I just really enjoy making those because it's, you know, it's it's key to me. Um so that's about it. I I really didn't want to put this video out. I was just going to not make videos and then come back whenever. Um but I didn't think it was fair to people to kind of expect painting videos and then never receive them. Um, and if you watch my videos, you know, all the time, I just want to say thank you. Actually, 
if you're new, if you're if you've been here for a while and you only watch some of them, if you've been here for a long time and you watch every one of my videos, thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for literally every person that has ever watched even a minute of my videos because it really it does matter to me um, that people would sit there and spend some of their time consuming content that I made. Um, just when I look back, I didn't think that anyone would care. And uh, now I see that, you know, people do care. They, they value um, seeing these videos. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I, to sum this video up, if, you know, I'll even probably put a timestamp to kind of sum the video up. Um, I'm going away for a while. Don't know how long. Uh, when I come back, I don't know what type of paintings I'll do, but there's probably ones I won't be doing as much or if ever, like the Pollock style paintings, abstract landscapes or, you know, abstract 3D type paintings with special effects and all these different, you know, black and white things. There's a lot of great artists out there, but the thing is, is that every artist kind of has their own twist that they add to the paintings and they do things that are key to them. And if I keep trying to emulate everybody else, I wouldn't be myself. Um, so anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So I will come back whenever I can. Um, and I might just, you know, I might put in videos sporadically just if I have, you know, if I just feel kind of led to do so. But uh, as it stands right now, it's not going to be consistent. Um, but that's it. So again, I appreciate all of you. And I appreciate you understanding kind of my situation. And um, that's it. So thank you again. I'll see you guys in whatever the next video is. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys.